All right, make sure you read the question. This one is saying that we need to support the underline, but sometimes it says weaken or undermine, and so we got to be careful. But this one is pretty straightforward. Now, I'm going to read the full thing. I'm going to probably have some strong words in here that are going to stand out to me, but I am going to pay much more attention to the end because that's the thing I want to support. They might give me other ideas, other hypotheses somewhere in here, but it's the end that I want to make sure I'm supporting. So let's take a look. Gorgets or necklaces with large pendants have been part of the ceremonial, ceremonial attire of tribes from the U.S. Southeast for centuries. One of the oldest examples, the Fairfield Gorget, was found in Fairfield, Missouri in 1958. Its overall design resembles that of other art from the region during the Mississippian period. So it resembles other art. That might be important. Yet the images in the gorget is of a jaguar, a species whose range doesn't extend to Missouri. So yeah, it resembles other things, yet in some, some way it, it's weird, I guess. Jaguar images are common in ancient Mexican art, and Mexico lies squarely in the species range. Therefore, some scholars argue that long-distance trade in Mexican art objects brought the imagery to Missouri, where a local artist could have adopted it and incorporated it into the Fairfield Gorget. So, so we need to support that. What are we really supporting? There's some sort of trade. Right? It's the long distance trade between these two places. That's that's the key because that's the only way that someone in Missouri knows what a Jaguar is. So let's let's think about that. Um, a, the Fairfield Gorget is dated not to the Mississippian period, but instead to the earlier Woodland period, which ended around 900 CE. It's not about the trade. It's not about this thing moving. I, I, I don't know why the time would have anything to do with it. I, I'm eliminating this because it doesn't seem to have an obvious connection to what I'm talking about. I could waste time trying to come up with a story to connect it, or I can just be like, well, it doesn't seem to hit my dumb summary. Let's move on. B, the range of the Jaguar is shown to have expanded dramatically after the Mississippian period came to a close around 1600. No. Now, this is tempting because you're like, well, if, yeah, the Jaguar was in Missouri, then it would make sense that they knew what a Jaguar was and put it on their jewelry. But the point of the underlying portion is that the Jaguar was not in this place. The only reason they know about it is through trade. So this is not strengthening the argument in the underline. It's weakening it. It's providing an alternative explanation for this same phenomenon. So this is a trap for sure. They, they know that some of you are going to be like, oh yeah, that, that explains why the Jaguar is in the thing. But we have to give a specific kind of explanation, one involving trade. C, an ancient Mexican art object is found at a site that dates to the Mississippian period and is close to where the Fairfield Gorget was found. So why would this Mexican art object be there? Because maybe it was traded? I don't know. I wish they said that word. But at least if there's a Mexican object there, then it suggests maybe that the Mexicans and the Missourians were talking to each other. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's look at D. Certain works by present-day artists from Southeastern tribes reflect outside cultural influences, including contemporary Mexican art. Well, why do I care about present-day artists, right? This is the wrong time. We got to go back, back in time, not to the present. I don't care if people today know what jaguars are. It doesn't matter. It's, it's this. So look, I, C was not what I would have said is like my ideal answer here. I really wanted them to in some way very clearly talk about trade between these two groups. They are doing it kind of a step removed, right? It's not that they're saying literally like this object got there because of trade. But if a Mexican object is in Missouri... It, it's got there somehow, right? And maybe it got there the same way that news of the Jaguar got there as well. So that's reasonable. And since none of these others make any sense, I'm not going to waste any more time trying to worry about it. Like C is the only one that I can remotely connect back to what they're talking about. So don't do more work in the choices than you need. We've proven three wrong. This is close enough, good enough to move on and get these points.